Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. This film, it may contain some very explicit language, which will frequently mean sexual square words. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the video. OK, let's get to our first, straight away to our first dedication. Dear Chris, please say a big hello to Connie Lingus, who's 69 on Tuesday. She'll be enjoying my meat and two veg on Sunday at 12, which are all the very best, and tell her I look forward to seeing her when she comes. Thanks ever so much, says Ivan R. Don. And he says, uh, please say hello to Bill as well. And that comes from Ivan uh, going out to uh, Connie in Thurnby Lodge here in Leicestershire. Owens a free kick, and let's bring in Graham Taylor. Graham? Yeah, I think England have done well, but I also have to say, I think Azerbaijan have done tremendously well. They've come out, they've got a game plan. The coach has actually said, this is what you have to do to give you the best chance, I think, of stopping England. And now they've got a problem, because they're 1-0 down. Now, to come off that game plan, it's going to be very interesting, because that may even give England more chances, or it may be that Azerbaijan come in, and give England and start to give England problems. Who are they playing? I don't know, but it's something. Uh, <laughs> I shall get, uh, it starts with A and it ends with an N, but in between there's a Zajer and a Adjer and a and a Ban <laughs> at the end. <laughs> well, yeah. let's well, well let, let's go with the Azeri, shall we? That's that's perhaps. No, I can't say that. <laughs> Those are the main headlines. I'll have the news in full at eight. On 94.9 FM, this is BBC London. Fucking... On 94.9 FM. This is BBC London. Sport. If it involves a London side, we'll be there. We apologise for that technical error. It really is out of our control. I mean, recently on the show, we gave away tickets to see Paul Weller, who was on last night at the arena in Newcastle. Darren was the winner. Hey, Darren. Yeah. How was it? That was great, love. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. What was the highlight of the evening for you? Well, he played, he played a lot of his old stuff. Um, but the highlight of the evening was probably um, the, the girl who sold the popcorn. <laughs> Give us a blowjob. All right, we'll get rid of you then. So he, I'm sure he's very funny in real life, but not on the radio. Gets it out to Summerby. Summer drifts it out to Godwin. Dean! Dean goes down like a sack of bricks in the box. There's nobody near him. That was clearly a chance. And as he ran into it, he just collapsed. Rather like the World Trade Centre, but less spectacularly. Onto his back. 6.41. Thousands of pro-hunting demonstrators will descend on Parliament today as MPs vote on banning hunting with dogs in England and Wales. The bill is expected to pass through the Commons today and the Lords on Thursday. It may not become law until 2006, although it may well be on the statute book as early as February next year. Georgie Wordsley is master of the old Surrey and Burstow and West Cunt. Kent Hunt uh, is out hunting this morning in Lingfield in, in Surrey. Good morning. Good morning to you. That's a bit of a slip of the tongue. I know. I do apologise for that. It's very <laughs> early in the morning and uh, these things do happen. And I feel exceptionally embarrassed about it. And I'm going to have to try and proceed with the interview now. Uh, so apologies for that. Um, but to the issue, are you going to find a fox this morning? From his third album, Out of the Back, released uh, 1st of October, 17th of September. So Monday, come in for that single, What You Want. We've got Grimes on the way for you today and uh, other good stuff from... Um, ooh, two fingers if I could squeeze them in. Six. Music. Grimes on Six Music and Genesis. Two fingers now, but now uh, they are a band, to clarify. <laughs> I can't even repeat the link that I just accidentally, in a carry-on style, made <laughs> into the trail. But yeah, Two Fingers are, are a band on Big Dada Records. They've got a new record out. Double A side. This is the A A side. Or the B side, you know, if you mean. Sweden. Two fingers, a band being squeezed into the show now. Hmm. Beyonce loves loves this show. Well, we've spoken to her many times on the phone, oh, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. You know, and again, she's another one that sees you on the eye. Hmm. Who's the other one out? Who's the other one out of Destiny's Child? There's, Kelly uh, and Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. No, Kelly. They're Kelly was the one that did one. Tries big... like a thucker. Uh, try, f- thighs like Chris. a truck. 
th thighs like it. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I apologize for the. <laughs> if she does that, I mean, tongue. to be fair, you know. <laughs> thighs? <laughs> She's got big thighs. Oh, I apologize. Oh, what a Sorry way to come that. back. Oh, oh lordy. Oh, oh dear. Anyway. <clears throat> They're all lovely, though. If you just switch the radio on, this is Scott Mills on Radio 1. Good morning. There we go, Mark Lawrence and talking to Peter Allen. We'll uh, take a break for some music in a moment or two. We'll also get the starting prices on all the winning horses here at Redka. And we'll take a look back at what's been a fucking, a flipping, um, fantastic day of uh, fun and frolicking and... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Len? Fun. Fun! That's a great word. A day of fun down here at the races. Now... BBC Radio 4, the news at 8 o'clock. The chairman of the Commons Committee investigating BBC allegations that the government exaggerated its evidence over Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction has accused the reporter involved, Andrew Gilligan... I apologise for this. Somebody's left their telephone in the studio. So sorry. I'll start again. The chairman of the Commons Committee investigating BBC allegations that the government exaggerated... Go yet. Thanks, Mickey. In 500 years' time, we'll still be talking about Botham's ashes, uh, they say. Uh, Sir Alex reckons they'll be talking about Roy Keane in 500 years' time. Text here, Roy... <coughs> Roy who? That's from Alfinger Harland from <laughs> Norway. And... Um, um, lots of you are mentioning that they'll still be talking about the cunt that uh, the, the, the West Kent hunt that shall not be mentioned in 500 years time I don't believe it I don't believe it uh, oh hang on we've got just had a text message here my name is Margaret and I have a lovely pair of thick beef curtains no you don't beef. make curtains out of beef I think you've got and one I'm one. looking for another pair for my spare room has anyone got a pair for sale Thick beef curtain. Am I missing something here? Is that for midnight snacks? Could they be buff? Could they be beige? It could be beige. Could that, Margaret? Uh, it could be some innuendo here that I'm not reading in, which I should understand. It could be, I don't know. Uh, Is she a butcher's wife, do you think? I have no idea. Margaret, you give us a call. You're on 080, your last three digits. Give us a call. Come on here. And I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, perhaps it's an old-fashioned design. <laughs> That track makes me feel like I'm standing in my local park in Dundonald about to open my first can of cheap beer and try and touch the boob of the 14-year-old girl that lives next door to me. When you were 14. When I was 14. <laughs> Obviously. Bob Sinclair. Like 182. Let's get your latest news at half two on Radio 1. With Kevin Sowerton. Prison for the man who used drugs to try and have sex with a 12-year-old. Radio 1 Newsbeat. A paedophile's been sentenced to eight years for giving a girl cocaine to try and get her to sleep with him.